mammals. They are among the most diverse and adaptable creatures on Earth, ranging from the tiny bumblebee bat that weighs less than a penny to the colossal blue whale, the largest animal to have ever lived. But where did this group of animals begin? What ancient roots do they have, and how did they evolve into the creatures we know today? The answers to these questions lie buried deep within the Earth, in the fossilized remains of creatures that roamed the planet hundreds of millions of years ago. A team of international researchers has unearthed a fossil that represents the oldest known ancestor of all mammals. The Permian period was a geological era that spanned from approximately 299 to 252 million years ago. This was a time long before dinosaurs dominated the Earth. The continents were fused together into a single supercontinent known as Pangaea. The Permian was a period of dramatic climatic and ecological changes, with vast deserts, lush floodplains, and monsoonal climates shaping the landscape. It was also a time of evolutionary experimentation when life on Earth was diversifying in extraordinary ways. Among the most distinctive creatures of the Permian were the synapsids, a group of animals that would eventually give rise to mammals. Synapsids are often referred to as mammal-like reptiles, though this term is somewhat misleading. They were not true reptiles, but rather an early branch of the evolutionary tree that would lead to mammals. Synapsids were characterized by a single opening in the skull behind the eye socket, a feature shared by all mammals today. They were also among the first vertebrates to exhibit traits such as differentiated teeth and more efficient locomotion. One of the most iconic groups of synapsids was the Gorgonoptians, saber-toothed predators that ruled the Permian landscapes. These creatures were the apex predators of their time. They occupied a niche similar to that of lions or wolves in modern ecosystems. Gorgonoptians were warm-blooded, carnivorous, and possessed elongated canine teeth, which earned them the nickname saber-toothed predators of the Permian. Despite their fearsome appearance, they were also part of the evolutionary lineage that would eventually lead to mammals, making them a crucial link in the story of mammalian evolution. The story of this discovery begins in the Serra de Tramuntana, a mountain range on the island of Mallorca, Spain. Today, Mallorca is known for its stunning beaches, turquoise waters, and vibrant culture. But 270 million years ago, it was part of the supercontinent Pangaea, located near the equator in a region that would now correspond to modern-day Congo or Guinea. The climate was monsoonal, with alternating wet and dry seasons, and the landscape was dominated by floodplains and temporary ponds. It was here, in the municipality of Banyalbafar, that an international research team made an extraordinary find. During three excavation campaigns, the team uncovered a lot of fossil remains belonging to a small to medium-sized Gorgonopsian, approximately one meter in length. The fossils included fragments of the skull, vertebrae, ribs, and a remarkably well-preserved femur. The sheer quantity and quality of the remains were unprecedented, which makes this one of the most significant paleontological discoveries in recent history. What makes this discovery truly exceptional is its age. The Mallorcan Gorgonopsian is at least 270 million years old, making it the oldest known member of its group. Prior to this discovery, Gorgonoptian fossils had been found primarily in high-latitude regions such as Russia and South Africa, and none were as old as the Mallorcan specimen. This finding thus pushes back the timeline of Gorgonoptian evolution. The Gorgonoptian from Mallorca was itself a fascinating creature. It embodied a mix of reptilian and mammalian traits. Its appearance would have been similar to that of a dog, but without ears or fur. Its most striking feature was its elongated canine teeth, which were among the first examples of saber teeth in the fossil record. These teeth were not just for show, they were deadly weapons that these creatures used to subdue prey in a world where survival was a constant struggle. The animal's locomotion was another key feature that set it apart from its reptilian contemporaries. Unlike reptiles, which have a sprawling gait with their legs positioned out to the sides, the Mallorcan Gorgonopsian had a more upright posture, with its legs positioned more vertically beneath its body. This adaptation allowed for more efficient movement, particularly for running, and represents an important step in the evolution of mammalian locomotion, as it would lead to the typical movement utilized by most mammals today. The fossilized leg bones, including the nearly complete femur, provided researchers with a lot of information about how the animal moved. 
scientists were able to reconstruct the Gorgonopsian's gait and infer its behavior by studying the structure of the bones and comparing them to those of modern animals. It was likely an agile predator that was capable of chasing down prey in the floodplains and forests of Permian Majorca. The discovery of the Majorcan Gorgonopsian also reveals more information on the ecosystem in which it lived. The fossil site was once a floodplain with temporary ponds which made it a habitat that supported a diverse array of plants and animals. Among the creatures that shared this environment were Mordosaurine captorhinids, an ancient group of herbivorous reptiles. These reptiles, which included the Tramontanosaurus ti, may have been prey for the Gorgonopsian. The climate of the region was monsoonal, with alternating wet and dry seasons. During the wet season, the floodplains would have been lush and teeming with life, while the dry season would have brought harsh conditions, forcing animals to adapt or perish. This dynamic environment likely played a key role in shaping the evolution of the Gorgonopsian and other Permian creatures. While Majorca is best known for its Pleistocene and Holocene fossils, the discovery of the Gorgonopsian highlights the island's rich and diverse fossil record from earlier periods. Despite its small size, Majorca has yielded a remarkable array of fossils, including the world's oldest mosquito, nearly a thousand species of ammonoids, ancestors of horses and hippos, giant sharks, and large coral reefs. These discoveries underscore the importance of Majorca as a window into the Earth's past. The Majorcan Gorgonopsian is just one of many fossils that have been found on the island, but it is undoubtedly one of the most significant. This is because it provides new details into the evolution of mammals. As paleontologists continue to explore Majorca and other regions with unexplored Permian deposits, new discoveries are inevitable. The finding of the Gorgonopsian in Majorca opens the door for further studies on the migration, adaptation, and eventual extinction of these creatures. It also raises intriguing questions about other possible Cenopsid fossils hidden beneath the Mediterranean landscape. The research published in Nature Communications marks a significant step forward in our understanding of mammalian ancestry. With continued excavations and advancements in paleontological techniques, scientists are hopeful that even more groundbreaking discoveries will emerge, further illuminating the deep evolutionary roots of mammals. Thank you for watching and joining us on this journey into Earth's past. If you enjoyed this exploration of ancient life, don't forget to like, Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a discovery. The story of our planet is still being written, and with every new fossil, we uncover another chapter in the grand history of life. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you next time for more amazing scientific revelations.